All right. Happy Thursday, Internet. It is Enrique. It is the 27th of April. It is 2023 and it is 144 Eastern. Currently, by the time this thing processes, it'll be like, I don't know, like 215 or something like that. I'll try to keep it, you know, narrow timeline between this moment and when you could potentially watch this, even though you probably won't see this until like, I don't know, later. However, for posterity's sake, I'll try to get it out the door quickly. BTC is at 29.290. Let me refresh this um, dashboard here real quick, and I'll kick over to it. Um, yesterday was such an exciting day. It's such an exciting day when when volume decides to make an appearance, right, into the uh, cryptocurrency world. We had uh, we had candles that were putting out almost 20,000 BTC USD tether on Binance. It's an amazing amount of sell pressure met with uh, like a boxing match of buy pressure, right? 17,800 right after that. Really cool to see. Anyway, so anyways, uh, so here's our here's our prices. Um, let me get to a different chart. There we go. This is it. This is the dashboard. The other one was for internal use only. It's the secret sauce. Not really. It just has a bunch of crap in there. I don't want to talk about. Um, so the uh, 29, what is it? 29,290, 29,290,285, according to trading view. Um, so the uh, 596.4 for DOT and AVAX at 1766. Get down to the nitty gritty though. This is the good stuff. Um, right now, BDC is kind of flirting with these, um, sentiment resistances. The established sentiment resistance is officially at $30,113. So as you could imagine, 30 K psychological barrier, breaking above that a little bit. Cool. From a sentiment perspective, it might overbuy, but getting higher than that's going to be a bit mm, difficult, right? Um, at least in the short term, everything I say is in the short term, right? Between 24 to 36 hours. All these levels will be relevant, sometimes a little bit longer, but that's the good meat and potatoes of how long the, the verbiage that comes out of my mouth can last, right? So if you're watching this video and it's now April 30th or something like that, just go to the next one, okay? Um, so anyways, for uh, the sentiment uh, support and sentiment resistance levels for DOT, on the tether side, this is pretty cool. Um, so we had this one establish um, at uh, 1600. And then, you know, a little bit later, of course, we get this this candle workout here that that tests that, lem uh, that level. And now we're just operating above it. Um, that level was at uh, $5.76. Um, and now the current, the lowest point of resistance we have is at 627. So that's kind of like the first upside to maybe beat. Uh, with the established resistance, more long form, a bit more solid and reliable is at 646.84. Um, AVAX producing very limited resistance, uh, short term resistance here. But we do have one here at 1876 that's brand new. And then um, our very well established back on the 21st of April um, is 1767 for the sentiment support. Now, that is currently acting as resistance. Um, so just one of those things I'll walk through this on the trend levels though, this chart here, it just kind of gives you the, well, it gives me anyways, the status of how the asset is playing through the sentiment responses over time. Um, and it, you know, it's up here for me more than anything, to be quite honest. This is the easier stuff down here though. Sorry, I just hit my microphone. Did that work? Did that, did you hear that at home? I don't think so. Um, maybe if you did give me a thumbs up and a subscribe. And hit the bell. I did the YouTube thing. That's right. I'm a professional. Um, so right now, BTC is operating with a brand new uh, trend um, level period. And this this happened after, I'm going to zoom into yesterday and, and kind of do a play-by-play -play and how that played out. But brand new trend level um, with the mean uh, being at 29.354. Operating beneath that, which we're no longer doing that right now. I'm looking at the price of BTC here. It's 29.388.78. So we're operating a little bit above it, which is great um, for people who want to go long on the asset. Um, but operating beneath it um, is uh, is the, an opportunity to establish support as long as the price stays above uh, 28,927, putting 
um, higher side stuff at the 29,782 and the 30,390 uh, squarely in the sights of where BDC could be headed. Uh, the opportunity for us to hit that upper side three sig is at 31,165 is pretty limited. Um, I would say it's under 10% probability, but higher than five. And then beyond that, um, I don't see the 31,655 or 32,147 um, happening uh, again in the short term, in the next uh, you know 48 hours or so. Um, I could be completely wrong, clearly, right? We could extend outside past the five sigs like we did yesterday. It's just highly irregular for us to do that two trends in a row. In fact, it's highly irregular for us to actually even go outside these five sigs, um, so much so that they're dim on the chart, just as a point of reference for me, right? Um, but looking at... The alts that I'm tracking, you got dot with a pretty tight squeeze between the three sig deltas on uh, this trend with the median price at 589.38. Uh, right now we're hugging that upper side one sig, which is at 595.14. It'd be nice to see some positive price action for it to really give a true test to that $6 range and see if we can actually start pushing the, the boundaries here of what, what that would be, which would carry it all the way up to... Um, this year, the, the 627, which is highly unlikely uh, given the tightness of this current trend level. Uh, the the highest that this goes um, is the the five sig on the upside in 628. So it would be, it's not out of the realm. It's just, I'm not going to sit here and be like, yeah, we're going there, right? I mean, that's just ridiculous. I, but uh, getting up in the, in the short term to that 602, uh, maybe 613 um, would be fine. Um, within reason, right? Obviously, since that's where the trend levels are at. And I would believe it as long as you stay above that median price, um, uh, where it's at 589.38. So price action above there is good for anybody who wants to go long on it and maybe, uh, ride an upward wave of within reason and not nearly as high as we were yesterday. I know that might sound kind of like bearish or whatever, I guess, but I don't, I don't see us tapping that, um, the, uh, like 621. Uh, range just yet. Um, so 613, sure. Right. Um, so anyways, uh, and AVAX is even tighter. Yesterday's trend levels were really narrow and we went all the way to the two sig on the upper side and then, and then punched down, touched through the three sig. We wicked to the, to the lower side five sig, but a bulk of the activity happened between the two and the three sig on the upper side and lower side. And then we did another trend event here, which is so narrow um, that is at 1721 and the deltas are about a buck 50 between all seven levels. So 20 cents a level. It is like super teeny. Granted, it's on the upper side of the trend event. It's above 1721 currently on the price. Um, and that, that is cool. It's nice to see that it's healthy. I would just like to see a different trend event, um, for this play out to give me some bigger deltas. Cause right now it's saying that uh, the market's willing to bear um, about 1796 to 1646 for what you would call the meat and potatoes of the price action that's expected for AVAX uh, in the sh foreseeable short term future. Right. So, eh, like the risk reward ratio on AVAX is kind of ignorable. So, but here's where I'm at with BTC. Um, in addition to the trend levels, we have a, uh, a median for the uh, support and resistance levels here at uh, 29,219. So we're also currently above that. This chart doesn't reflect it, I don't think, just yet. Oh, it does. Okay, good. Um, so we're above that, which is good, right? But it does put 30,130 squarely on uh, the block in terms of a price to beat if you want to start getting um, very enthusiastic or euphoric about the price of BTC. Right now, within consumer reason, $30,131 is a pretty decent high side um, for the asset. And then beating that price, um, it gets a little bit more sandy with a 31,260 and then a max resistance all the way at 33, with, which changes the narrative of, of BTC just outright. Um, for DOT right now, the uh, the level to beat um, is 599. Again, that $6, you know, testing that, uh, it's 599. Uh, what is this? Uh, 599.26. So within, um, I guess, 0.75 pennies of the uh, $6 test. And if you can get through that, then getting to the SR1 negative at 624 
isn't completely out of the realm of possibilities. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to, you know, call that right. It's not going to be like a call or anything, but um, it's there. There's there's some gravitas to it or whatever. Um, and then AVAX. This is pretty much the only levels that that I have with the Delta that gives me some level of reliability uh, to be able to speak to. We're above the um, SR2 negative at, at 1705.97, and the SR1 negative is 18 flat, $18 uh, with uh, 0.44 cents uh, tracking. Now, um, getting to that 18, as far as the SR levels are concerned, it's totally reasonable, um, but I would really like to see uh, uh, trend levels here from Jarvis that kind of give me an expansive, more uh, in tune to what's currently going on um, uh, Delta there. So if I wanted to dial it back to the 24th, which is a bit of an aging trend level at this point, considering that's like two levels back, um, then sure, we, we actually have some levels here that would support that kind of behavior with uh, 1787 at the one SIG on the upper side. And then of course, uh, 1905 for the two SIG, which... I would say that would be within reason. However, I would rather have that um, uh, correlate with an actual published trend levels for the today period because of the volatility that happened yesterday. And before this video gets any longer, I just want to zoom into this. This is a fun little um, kind of chest beating, bragging, but it's just fascinating. It's really cool. I was watching this almost like a sporting event yesterday. Um, I'm going to zoom in and then change the resolution of these candles down to like 15 minutes. And just to look at how BTC played with these uh, these trend levels, right? So this trend level was published by our system on the 25th, UTC uh, 1730. That's the PM for those of you who don't know the military time, 530. And from the 25th onward, we were operating at a relatively bullish outlook for BTC. We got above the one sig. Uh, getting above the one sig is a good sign, good close above it. You don't want to just get a wick. You want a nice close above the one sig. Kind of establishes a foundation there. And then when that happened, we did this nice incline through that. And then it punched up to the three sig. And when it punched up to the three sig and touched it, there's a bit of moment there. A little red candle afterwards is like thinking about going down, but it was so limited in terms of how much sell pressure there was at that 28,706 level that it just started to establish he's really good, right? Not too, not too enthusiastic, but good price action and an upward incline um, up to the four sig. And then it did the same kind of thing. It punched up a little bit, but closed above it. And then just shot right out of the trend levels. And I did the video yesterday out here uh, at the 1600 mark, I'm sorry, 1800 mark UTC um, on the 26th. This is yesterday's video. Yeah. And I was saying it was overextended and normally that's a return to mean. And about an hour later, um, that's exactly what happened. BTC jumped all the way down to the mean price, which was $27,543. And it even got down to the lower side one SIG on a wick, um, which was uh, 27,269, a little bit below that. If I look at the low of this candle, I think it was, uh, yeah, 27,235. But then we started to operate almost immediately above the mean again. It got uh, maintained its bullishness, kept the uh, the buy pressure and the volume there. Uh, this volume is in 15 minutes, 4,000 BTC in 15 minutes for this green candle to go from the mean of the trend all the way back to the two sig, which was fantastic to see. Um, and it was just really fascinating to watch. However, it did not overextend outside of our five SIG for the remainder of the evening, which allowed Jarvis, of course, here to uh, produce this trend event, giving us the new mean, which is what we're currently playing with. And again, is at 29,354, which we are operating just underneath, right? This one hour candle right now um, is... Uh, pretty paramount to see if we're going to get to continuation. I would like to see a close above that price point for obvious reasons. So I'm out till tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday, right? Yeah, 